And so glad you're streaming with us today. You know, it's been nearly six months since that gunman opened fire at Robb Elementary School in Uvalde, Texas, killing 19 students and two teachers. And since May, our entire team has spent an extensive amount of time with families on the ground there in the Lone Star State. Tonight, ABC News Live is taking a much deeper dive into that community as it struggles to recover. A look at how the people of Uvalde are navigating life since the tragedy. Our John Quinones has been at the center of this story from the beginning. John joins us now live from Uvalde with more. John, it's great to see you there again. I love the commitment we're making and that you're making. We shouldn't forget. And, and frankly, it's, it's, it's something important to, to know how people do after this. You've been reporting on this story you know, from the very beginning. Uh, and what are they telling you now? What are the families telling you six months later? You know, Terry, I was, uh, I was born and raised just an hour away from here. So I feel like I, I know this community, I, I know this town. In many ways, it's been like, like coming back home. And the folks here have been incredibly open with us. Yes, there is still a lot of sadness. There's frustration. Uh, there's anger. But as sad and as, as heartbreaking as it all is, it's also been more recently anyway, really inspiring to see how therapy, faith, family, love, tradition is now helping these families deal with all that grief at least one tiny step at a time. You know, no one will ever get over the grief of this horrible tragedy, but they're getting through it. And, and among the Uvalde parents that you're going to meet tonight, two of the folks you're going to meet are Kimberly and Angel. They are the parents of little 10-year-old Amory Joe. Uh, who was one of the victims, and I think we have a clip of my interview with them. I haven't done therapy. I think that's why I haven't, just because I don't want to... I don't want to accept it. Like, I don't want to talk to somebody. Because then I feel like, okay, you've accepted it. And so that's, that's, a, that's a very hard for me to do. You've made it real. You know, Amory's best friend has said that the little girl's final words before she was shot in that classroom, those final words were, don't be afraid. Oh. Guys? Uh, um, John, uh, Dia de los Muertos was just a few days ago. You know, mm -hmm. big tradition, tradition yeah. there for Texas communities. I mean, yeah. the entire Latin community. How did families honor yeah. their loved ones for that holiday? You know, um, we were just there all day and, and, and into the night, and there was mariachi music, there were tamales, there was all kinds of food, and there were posters and pictures of, of all of the victims. Dia de los Muertos is to commemorate uh, and not so much mourn those who have passed away, but really uh, celebrate, celebrate their lives. So for the very first time, we, we saw smiles and laughter. We heard laughter. And uh, they made these ofrendas, these little altars that folks, families built in their homes. And they're adorned with flowers. Uh, marigold is the flower of choice. And it was just so wonderful to see that, the smiles returning just a little bit. Mm. And John, I, I was struck by, by that this is home for you in a way, your childhood yeah. home. And I want to yeah. ask you, how has this been for you? And what does it mean to you to be able to cover this story? Oh, it's been a real blessing. I feel really honored to, to have my voice, to lend my voice to their story. Um, and many times we talk to them in Spanish and, and many times it's in English. And, and it just reminds me of my own family. My mother, you know, she would build these ofrendas. We had an altar in the house. Uh, so it really, really is like coming home. And I find just easy, very easy to communicate with folks at the grocery store, you know, at the drugstore, and if, even at, at the schools and... And then just two days ago at that cemetery, I, I feel very blessed to be here. Mm. Well, we know they feel the same way. They love you, John. Yeah. We're so glad yes, to have you. you on the show. Thank you. And uh, Uvalde 365, the struggle to understand does air tonight, 8.30 Eastern, right here on ABC News Live. It's also streaming on Hulu. You do not want to miss it. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.